If you're going to make it, you've got to be willing to be an outlier. The weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. When you are misunderstood to the point where if people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's gonna get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out, ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate
the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like that. Those normal people, it makes them feel like shit, so they're going to judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours, that's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, become bankrupt if necessary, again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me, what else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all, what else is available to me? People are going to think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You're out there talking about living your dream. And people are laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. All your excuses are lies little lies that you think makes life easier but they don't now i know in the morning you got that blanket giving you a warm hug and you got the the pillow which is whispering in your ear telling you it's okay telling you to stay just a little longer but don't listen to them they're lying to you listen to your alarm clock which is telling you to get up and get some Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands. Satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today, you can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. 
But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're going to use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions. It's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting is the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you'll do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. Regardless of your emotions, these test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act 
That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. At the end of your feelings is possibly nothing. But at the end of your principle is a promise. And some of you are where you are. If you could be real with yourself, you have gotten yourself in some mess because of your feelings. We are losing control. And it's time for those of you in this room to take control. You've held up your someday. Either you didn't get the right information or you got it. You didn't use it. You're not getting up early enough. I don't know what you're doing. But when you leave, all I want for you is to live your someday. No more playing after today. And here's the crazy part. All you got to do is look in the mirror. All you got to do is deal with yourself and then we're going to get to a whole other level. Because the only one that is stopping you is you. I need you to take control over every single area and then someday going to be your day. Excuses are for weak people. If you're going to make it happen, get your ass up and get to work. No more excuses. No more I'll start tomorrow. No more just this once. No more accepting the shortfalls of my own will. No more taking the easy road. No more waiting for the perfect moment. And no more indecision and no more lies. No more weakness. Now is the time for strength. And through strength and through will and through unwavering discipline, I will become who I want to be. Suffocate your bullshit excuses and go do something. Stop running from it and run to it. Stop telling me what you're going through. The greats, they get to it, they go through it. And the harder it is, the better. Make it work. Let's go. The decisions you make right now is up to you. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it, everybody will post about it, but nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified, I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself, and by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. Because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers, you think you lying to your teacher, you think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lie to you. Because that's your life. You make your bed, you gotta lay it. Your life matters. What you do in your life matters. You were born to do something great with your life. You were put here for a reason, which is to make a difference in the world, which is to change your own family's tree, which is to do something great with your life. I promise you, you were put here for that. In little ways and in big ways. And the actions of your life will echo into eternity. The question is, will that echo for you be a whisper into eternity? or a roar, and you get to decide based on the actions you take every day in your life, whether the life of you, whether it had a big meaning and it roars into eternity, or whether you play small and you just whisper into eternity. You get to choose that. There's something in you that says, I'm not going to focus on the general economy, I'm going to focus on my personal economy. There's something in you that says the most dependable hand in the world is the one at the end of your wrist. There's something in you that says, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. You are different. You have greatness within you. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. Ever. No one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. 
And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. you got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices, they wake up another, make another bad choice, and they make another bad choice, now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how did I get here? Choices, how did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over. That yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change. Where does the switch come from? The overdrive. It is the thing that allows you to go the extra distance dig a little deeper, to push a little harder. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential, to really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. Because emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. 
when your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, when you think you are going to break emotionally, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says one thing. I don't stop. Fight weak emotions with the power of logic. Fight the weakness of logic with the power of emotion. Then in the balance of those two, you will find the strength to say to yourself, I don't stop. I didn't get to where I am. I didn't get here being lazy. I didn't get here binge watching TV. I didn't get here taking days off. I personally know what it takes. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. You only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level you are. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You gotta kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and fifty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you gotta pick your grind up. And I need you to wake up every single day. And I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. No excuses, no more complaining, no more giving up. What's that thing that's gonna pump you up and get you over that hill? What's gonna pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's gonna pump you up and get you past that disease? What's gonna pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's gonna pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Come on, you can win! If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. You got the little voices in your head. And you know what they're saying? They're saying, it's okay. You've done enough. Take a little rest. It's fine. You can take the day off. You don't need to go hard. That's what those little voices are saying. But you've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? I said you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no. Are you going to win? Yes or no. Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not point and finger saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. You can win. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. Despite the fact if your parents in your life or not, you can win. Despite the fact that you started behind, you can win. You can pull it off. You can't be good and be a legend. You can't be great, really, and be a legend. You gotta be phenomenal. I want you to push for legend. 
It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no dog or helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra raps, when you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music and you just get on stage and you shine, it's the process that makes you sweet. The biggest war you're ever going through is right between your own ears. It's in your mind. The mind's a very powerful thing. It has a tactical advantage over you all the time. It knows where you don't want to go. So it will guide you away from that. And that's why the mind will always win. Until you f***ing reprogram it. You gotta figure out a way to reprogram your mind to get outside the box. Whatever my mind said I don't want to do, I realized I must do that. The greats do things when they don't always want to. And that's the separation. Without discipline, they're nothing. And discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Because really, the only person that you're fighting every day is yourself. It's not your boss. It's not this or that. Yeah, those are all obstacles. A lot of them, you cannot control those obstacles. But you can control yourself. We have to regain control of our mind. How you gain mental toughness, how you become the person you want to be, is constantly facing the things that you don't want to face. The only way anything gets accomplished, you got to work hard. I can't remember what the f*** is in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind was safe. Okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. To find real, permanent peace, you first must go through suffering. You must go to the dark side of who you are. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. A person that's obsessed and wants to just get there, they don't give a f what the temperature is. They no longer care, because they know no matter what's out there, no matter if it's snowing, if it's a damn tropical storm, if it's 20 below, they don't care, they're gonna run. It doesn't matter what the f**k's out there, what's in front of me, I'm just gonna go. And that's how you wanna get your mind. You have to train your brain by doing things that make you uncomfortable consistently. To build this mindset that when things get hard, we don't shy away, we don't quit, we attack. I'm seeing through all those walls. I'm getting to where I wanna go. You have to literally visualize the connection between what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis with what you're wanting. What do you want yourself to look like 10 years from now? What do you want your bank account to look like? What do you want to look like physically six months from now or a year from now? You have to connect the dots. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. If you think that you've given everything, you really have it. If you think you're working hard, you're not working hard enough. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer. Whatever it is you want more of, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. People don't have limits. We put limits on ourselves. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up, and then you fail, and then you get up, and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith, 
and you can get knocked down and get back up again and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed. But when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. But it's your shot to do what you do. Keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks are going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. The champions, it's not the potential, it's not the genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. So many of us, we've gone through life and life has let us down. You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I know what it's like to barely hold on, to barely feel like you're breathing, and barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No, do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. Growth is faster and deeper during your darkest days. Through that separation, through that unemployment, through that tragedy, through that loss. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. You take those terrible events in your life and you create a new story of triumph. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Fight your way through this battle. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great. It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. Fight your way through it. Fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know, after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles and you were made just for a time like this. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decided that you're gonna not concern yourself with the naysayers, 
that you're not going to concern yourself with what has happened or what hasn't happened, but you're going to make the commitment to do what you've got to do so that you can have a lifestyle that you've never experienced before. Or the moment defines you and you decide to play it safe and 20 years from now you say to yourself, what if I would have taken a chance on myself? What if I would have stayed in the game? What if I would have kept making the phone calls? What if, what if, and what if? But let me tell you something. Something amazing begins to happen when you make the decision to move forward on your goals and your dreams. If you are an underdog, you got to believe against all odds. You got to learn to close your ears to everybody. You got to learn to close your ears to everything. You got to learn to block out the distractions and you got to learn to get focused, all right? Be very intentional, very deliberate, very strategic. You are very deliberate about what time you wake up. You're very deliberate about what time you go to bed. You're very deliberate about what you eat, what you don't do. You're very deliberate about the people you bring in your life. You are very, very focused, intentional, and deliberate. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. See, we gotta look our trauma in the face. We gotta embrace the pain and the darkness and allow it to mold us. The dark times are when we build higher, dream harder, push further, love deeper. It's forming your future. It's pushing you forward. When you go through a storm, it strengthens you. When you come through that kind of experience and able to reclaim your life, you come back with a certain kind of power and you'll never be the same again after that experience. There are certain things when you go through those things and you come up out of those things, you come up a different kind of person, different spirit, different power, different energy. Don't ever say when you're going through some rough time, I'm going through a really bad, tragic time. No. See, I'm going through a character building experience. That setback is going to become a comeback. Go through the darkness, come out on the other side something new, and allow that person to change the world. I know what you're going through. Countless hours sitting up, thinking if your life will ever get better. Thinking about everybody that's passed away, that's walked out your life. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you're going to live with. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? No one really likes you, no one really cares about you. People ask you how you are and you say fine, but you're not fine and they'll never know that. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you. Maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You see, I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. Some of you getting up means, all right, here I am. I got some challenges. I'm tired of being quiet about it. Others of you getting up means I'm fighting back. I'm going to a doctor. Getting up means I'm going back to counseling. Getting up says, all right, I'm going to start the medication again. Getting up is, you know what? Maybe I can get a job. Maybe my mission has not been destroyed by my depression. I'm getting up. You got to get up to find your purpose. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. 
Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folks that like you. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, we can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. Life is going to see how bad you want what you say you want. Impose your will on it. Life will give in to you if it knows you're serious about whatever it is that you're trying to do. Life will give in to you. Whenever you start, you make sure you finish. If you do not kill me, you will not stop my drive. No petty adversity will not stop me. I have to complete every mission that I set out on. From this day forward, set out to achieve greatness, not by looking for someone to give it to you, but by going through all of the blood, all of the sweat, all of the hard work, by going to work to set your own inner greatness free. No matter what anyone else has said, or how anyone else has made you feel before, it's there. So you had it harder than other people, but then you're going to have to work a little harder. But trust me when I say, you have greatness inside you. Wherever we are, with whatever hand that life has dealt us, we have the freedom of spirit. We can go through life whining and weeping, or we can have the kind of spirit that regardless of what happens to you, you can stand up inside of yourself. You have an uncomfortable soul. It can be painful, it will be uncomfortable, and that's where the growth is. When you're stretching out, when you're taking life by the collar, you're gonna get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have determination and you know that what you're doing is right, it gives you your life, it gives a special meaning and power to you, you begin to discover some things about you that you don't know you've got when you put yourself in that type of challenging situation. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs, and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. you already in pain. you already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure's there for some time. This is the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again. Until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. The one thing I know about emotions is that they change. One hour from right now, you will not feel the same way. And I want to encourage you tonight that you might be in your darkest moment. You might be going through hell and high water. But I know this, it is always too soon to quit. You have a reason to live. Your best days are in front of you. Get up. Your future is brighter than your past. Get up. Your latter is greater than your former. Get up. Because the best is still yet to come. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for, you don't need no money for, you don't need no support for. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can't beat it. I can't beat it. I will beat it. I must. You think it's gonna be easy? Forget about it. All right, don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy, but I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And as pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. Take your pain, use your pain to push you past whatever you can dream of. Take the fact that your father wasn't in your life. Take the fact that it took me 12 years to get a 40 degree. Take the fact that you started with nothing.
pain. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. You have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for it. I didn't quit. I didn't stop. I didn't whine. You know what I did? I got my reward for it. I don't take L's no more. No more L's in my life. All we do is win, win, win. It is literally at the darkest moment when it dawns. You don't really even get to the next level to your darkest moments. No matter what you've ever been through, you had to go through it to get right here. There's glory on the other side of pain. No pain lasts always. And when you make up your mind to deal with pain because you know what it feels like, man, ain't a devil in hell can stop what you're trying to do. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. Stop tripping when it get dark and you run it. You run it from your success. Why would you do something for 10 years then quit? If you was gonna quit, you should have quit when you put your first brand in it. You like 9,800 hours deep into it. It only takes 10,000 hours. So it's not the darkest moment that's the problem. You the problem. And your perspective is the problem. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. You must eradicate excuses. You will never ever point the finger at anybody again. You will never blame another human being, even if they wrong. You will not point the finger. You will not say because she didn't do what she was supposed to do or because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. I couldn't do what I was supposed to do. You're never gonna say that again. You're going to take 100% ownership. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. The difference between the winners in life and the people that constantly live their lives on the lowest level is that the winners handle problems better. They look at the situation and they say, what do I need to do instead of why me? and they look to fix the problem so that the next time around, they're prepared for it. If you wanna be a real winner in life, don't try and avoid problems. Get really masterful at handling them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they wanna do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You wanna take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. To anyone out there that's listening, that's started to go down, down in that hole, trapped in the chains of depression, or addiction, or rage, you're going through a tough time. Maybe you're walking through real depression. Maybe you are in a valley today that you've experienced the worst failure of your life and you are on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're here today and your marriage is on the rocks. Maybe you're here today and you're dealing with anxiety on a daily basis. You know what it's like to be in a lonely, dark place. You know what it's like to want to quit. You know what it's like when the pressure's overwhelming, when people expect your best, but you're at your worst. That is a moment of choice. That is a moment of decision. What will your response be? Are you gonna sit back or are you gonna step up? Adversity creates the perfect moment for audacity. 
It's in your adversity. The thing that comes out of you is what defines you. When life is squeezing you and pressure is on you, what's really inside of you? See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed, but I want to remind you that failure is not final, it's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Just because you failed doesn't mean that you're a failure. In fact, failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance. You have to fail in order to succeed. The darker the night, the brighter the morning. This too shall pass. You're going to get through this thing. You might not be in control of the storm, but you can have the courage to face the storm and say, I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to run away. I'm going to walk through this thing because I believe this thing is leading me to another miracle. You see, the fight's not over if you've been knocked down. It's only over if you quit. If you make the decision to get up one more time, I'm telling you, you will win the fight. There are moments that try the human soul so violently and so perplexing that if the truth were told, all of us have had moments that we wanted to throw up our hands and walk away. Depression, frustration, anxiety, pain, disillusion, it's just a natural part of the process of becoming a stronger version of yourself. It happens to us spiritually, and it happens in the world physically. You actually have a say-so in how your life goes. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. You have no say-so in what happens to you, but you have a say-so in what you do about it. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. Everything you see that's beautiful starts out as a seed, but that seed got to get dirt on it. See, you get tripped out because you got dirt on you. But you need dirt on you to develop because dirt ain't just dirt. Dirt is fertilizer. Dirt is nutrients. Dirt gives you the strength for your seed to push through. See, you got to have dirt on you to push through something. See, you get mad when haters come your way. You get mad because you get a setback. You get mad because you get thrown off course. You get mad because you get a detour. That's just dirt. You get mad because they talking about you. That's dirt. You get mad because you, you lost your mama. That's dirt. But show me something that has grown into something beautiful that didn't have no dirt on it. You got to have dirt on you to grow into what God got for you. I'm better. I'm better than I was when I went down. It was good for me that I've been afflicted. I'm better for it. I didn't like it, but I'm better for it. I couldn't see down there, but I'm better for it. See, I was planted in a dark place, but I'm better for it. Every time you go through something dark and you can't see your way out, remember you've been planted, not been buried. I'm not buried in this mess. I'm planted in it. I'm planted in it. And if I'm planted in it, expect me to come back up again. And when I come back up, you won't recognize me because I'm going to be transformed by the experiences that I have endured. I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. I'm unbreakable now. You got to take some L's to be a champion. You ain't got to take no L's to be a winner, but you got to take some L's to be a champion. Now you tripping on your L's. Your L's about to prepare you. Everybody's got a f***ing plan so they hit in the f***ing mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f*** down the f***ing canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is f***ed up, what the f*** are you going to do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay f***ing hard. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. 
where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. As long as you got breath in your nostril, don't you ever give up. Don't you ever give in because I never told you it would be easy. But with mental toughness, you can get it done. I don't care how hard you fall. Fall on your back. Because if you can fall on your back, you can look up. And if you can look up, you can get up. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that sh**. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. And 10 years of motherfucking work is going to pay off. You can do this. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Pressure does most people in. The weight of what it feels like to want to be successful every single day, over and over and over. It's just too much pressure. People crack. You got to persevere. You must insist that this is going to happen. You got to get in there and keep fighting. You got to be constantly at it. Everybody got to develop some dog in them. You got to say, I'm going to hang in here now. I'm going to hang in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay with it no matter what. At the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance, the heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating. Just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Is a person a character that values who the f they are? There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. Everyone wants it, but somebody wants it more. Where does all the great sh** that we have in our lives come from? It all comes from people who, in the face of massive adversity, decide that they're going to move forward regardless. They're going to make the thing that they want to happen happen no matter what anybody says, no matter how many times they get laughed at, no matter how many times they get called crazy, no matter what, they are going to make this happen. We have the ability to make the choice to be the person who rises above the sh**. If you keep making the choice to take the things that happen to you and turn them into good, productive things, there is no way that you cannot be successful. It is literally at the darkest moment when it dawns. You don't really even get to the next level to your darkest moments. No matter what you've ever been through, you had to go through it to get right here. There's glory on the other side of pain. No pain lasts always. And when you make up your mind to deal with pain because you know what it feels like, man, ain't a devil in hell can stop what you're trying to do. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you backed off. Stop tripping when it get dark and you running. You running from your success. Why would you do something for 10 years then quit? If you was gonna quit, you should have quit when you put your first brand in it. 
You're like 9,800 hours deep into it. It only takes 10,000 hours. So it's not the darkest moment that's the problem. You the problem. And your perspective is the problem. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. You must eradicate excuses. You will never ever point the finger at anybody again. You will never blame another human being. Even if they wrong, you will not point the finger. You will not say it because she didn't do what she was supposed to do. Or because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. I couldn't do what I was supposed to do. You're never going to say that again. You're going to take 100% ownership. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. The difference between the winners in life and the people that constantly live their lives on the lowest level is that the winners handle problems better. They look at the situation and they say, what do I need to do instead of why me? and they look to fix the problem so that the next time around, they're prepared for it. If you want to be a real winner in life, don't try and avoid problems. Get really masterful at handling them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim.